It is a pet owner's worst nightmare of a loved friend stolen. But it's happening all too often in our area, especially purebred dogs, which can fetch top dollar. WBRE WYOU Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback is live now with the latest dog theft and what owners can do to stop it from happening to them. Caroline? Nick, Candace, the American Kennel Club has tracked a 31% increase in stolen dog reports in recent years. The local SPCA noticed the trend happening in our area. Recently, a dog was stolen in Lackawanna County. PSP Dunmore is searching for a dog reported stolen from Jefferson Township. Chet Hunley told state police someone took Jake, his 15 year old German Shepherd, from his kennel last week. I put him in the kennel Thursday morning and came home and he was gone. The kennel was closed in a different fashion than the way I closed it, which is how I knew somebody had opened it. Executive Director of the Luzerne County SPCA, Todd Hevner, says dog nappings are on the rise in NEPA. Wednesday, the SPCA posted on Facebook to warn pet owners about the issue. Uh, it was actually brought to our attention that it seems to be uh, on the rise and out of an abundance of caution for our community. We felt it was necessary to share a bit about the information. Hevner says it's not uncommon for people to take dogs and sell them, especially purebreds, which could go for thousands of dollars depending on the breed. Hunley says that doesn't seem to be the motive for whoever stole his aging dog. He says Jake went missing from the yard a few weeks prior, and they found out someone picked him up. He's concerned they might have come back for Jake, wanting to keep him for good. The only thing that makes sense to me in this particular situation is it's somebody who can't mind their own business and they think they know better than I do. Hunley hopes someone will scan Jake for his microchip, connecting the dog with its true owners. Hevner says as soon as a stolen pet is reported to the police, the owner should contact the microchip company to mark the dog stolen in their database. He says microchips are crucial for safeguarding your pet. He warns pet owners, don't leave dogs outside unattended and don't leave them in the car. I'm going to pop into the store just for a few minutes. I'm going to lock the door. My dog will be safe. Not only is that dangerous to your animal to keep them locked in your car, but it only takes a second for somebody, again, with ill intentions to break into your car and steal your dog. Now, Hebner says to be weary of people selling dogs on sites like Craigslist or Facebook. There's a chance they're selling you a stolen dog. He says your best bet is to go to your local SPCA or Humane Society and adopt a shelter dog like this one. Reporting live in Plains Township, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. Back to you. Caroline, thank you. And by the way, Jake has a brown belly, black upper body, and gray on his chin and paws. He is microchipped and was not wearing a collar or tag when he was taken. If you have any information, you are asked to contact State Police in Dunmore.